Well, the last time I spoke to you, you were supposed to battle Tony Blanco, right? Was I? The last time I spoke to you, I think you were Tony Blanco. Was I? Was supposed, was supposed to battle. That didn't happen and stuff like that and everything like that. Then you had Lady Caution and Houston Barcode. You kind of stole the show again. <laughs> yeah. You kind of stole um, the show again, sister. Talk to me about your Lady Caution battle first before we talk hey, about Jay hey, Love and everything. Yeah, um, let me stop playing with you. Yeah, me and Tony was supposed to battle. Um. You know, I end up, I actually was booked for Lady Caution first, mm -hmm. but the dates got crossed. I was supposed to battle her sooner, but because mm -hmm. the dates got crossed, it was literally the day after the day I was supposed to battle Tony, or well, the day before. So, you know, I had to make an executive decision and, um, you know, I did what I thought was the better move for my brand. Mm -hmm. How was the, how about the battle with you and Lady Caution? How do you feel about the battle itself? Um, I feel like at this point, what I went up there and did, I'm I'm almost feeling like I could beat Tay Rock. Slow down. Slow. I, <laughs> she got beat in AMG mode. Look, if I beat you in AMG mode, I'm feeling like I could take on anybody in the team at this point. <laughs> do, do, let me ask you a question. Do you feel like you're still in training when it comes to battle rap? You still a student of the um, game as you're going on? Honestly, honestly, an old dog can learn new tricks. Right, Everything absolutely. is a learning lesson for me. Um, like I say, I'm I'm one of those ones I actually sit back and study my own battles, and sometimes I even cringe because I'm hard on myself. So I'm always go back, watch my battles, see what I can do better. I also take in the constructive criticism. So if fans say they ain't like this, they ain't like that, I'm not gonna be able to cater to everybody, but I know mm -hmm. where I can work at. What do you feel you gotta work at if you had to if you get if you had, if you had to critique yourself? Um, I'm I, I can't say I am still working on my delivery. Okay. When I first came in, a lot of people felt like you know I got bars, but I be shouting, and yeah, I yes, haven't yes, heard yes. that in a long time. So mm -hmm. I worked on it, and then you know coming forward and forward, I'm just like I'm coming into my own. So I, I guess you know the longer you do the job, the better you become at it. Mm. And then how did this J Love battle come about? Um that's my little protege. Elaborate because y'all had the internet <laughs> y'all had the internet going a little while today. Was that uh -oh. orchestrated? Was that like what was that about? Like that thing? Was that uh -oh. hey I'm about to wild out? What you Honestly, about to do? Like? I you know if I'm if I'm being real, you know, it's 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 the titty thing. Um it's the titty thing. So mm -hmm. I can't really just say how, but you know, the people, J Love versus Lady J, that's what they've been asking for right now. You see, Twitter is going crazy. Um, so, you know, we're going to get the people what they want. And it's a lot of people who was looking to book this, but really? some of them who was more so thinking next year. And, um, but I, I, I do want to put it out there. This battle wasn't stolen from anybody. Uh, I know it's, it's some leads who probably feel like that was my battle. Uh, Y'all had the time to book it. Y'all had the time to book it. So it's booked now. Um, I want to get in there. I want to get busy. And mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it. So we got final exam October 13th. Is this you are Friday, Friday the 13th is about to get spooky for this bitch. Well, you would agree that Jay loves experience, though. She goes, she has, she has more experience than even battle rap. Can we, can we, can we agree with that? She has what? More experience. I, I don't know battle. what you mean. More experience. Her resume of people. She battled Tony Blanco. She battled Chirac. And. She battled, you know, Gate to the Garden against Charisma. And. She has, a, you know, some body of work. And you said she had more, more experience. So uh, she, she frequently is on she go hard and everything like that. Oh, ladies! <laughs> so we're not gonna do that. That's my baby. But I'm I'm not gonna allow you to uh, put that narrative out there because that's the okay. thing. A lot of people, um, I I get overlooked a lot. Let me say this. All right. A lot of times in better rap, if you don't find your lane early on, or you don't get a co-sign, you could tend to get overlooked. Okay. And that's what's been going on with me. I tend to get overlooked. 
not because I don't do numbers, but because I'm from the South. And like I said, you already know I'm so low dolo. I've been one deep in the game from the jump. So I don't have no cosign. I don't have no cosign and nobody saying, hey, fuck with Lady J. No, I put myself on. Let, let's just get that clear. Let's get right. that established. Um, Absolutely. she don't she don't have more experience because you talking about somebody who already beat the Yoshis, who battled J two. Like before anybody knew who J two was, I battled J two. So like at the end of the day, and he been out here smoking shit. Right. Yeah. Yoshi been the out thing. here smoking shit. So you know what I'm saying. I, I I've been there along the way. I I've, I've paved the way. I battled Farah. I actually battled Dunn Lady, my fourth true, battle yeah. Yeah. battle rap. What mm -hmm. on her resume compares to Dunn Lady and Farrah Fume? Nah, you know what though? You know what though? You're right. Though. I, you know, I guess I'm saying more frequently within the last year and some change. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, because like I said, I have had back out, so right. it doesn't look like I'm as active. And then mm -hmm. last year, everything that was going on with my surgery, uh, with my leg getting cut, I was out for a year basically rehabilitation alone so yeah i i did sit out when i came back it was just a bunch of no shows so it ain't that i ain't active but every time i get out here mm. it's what the people want to see mm. what are you expecting with this battle with jayla what are you expecting with this um I'm, I'm i'm expecting to come in and it's gonna be a fire ass battle but i can't say it's a lot of pressure on this battle <laughs> Only because now I'm feeling like if I don't say I'm about to face fuck this bitch, that <laughs> that the fans just might not take to it like they want to. But um, in understanding myself and like I said, in learning my lane, I, I definitely want to put it out there. Lady J is not a battle rapper. I am an entertainer and I have an LLC behind it. This is my business. This is my brand. I am an entertainer. I get contracted to do jobs. That's it. So at the end of the day, I come, I entertain, I get the people to want to see it. So that that's that's my goal in this. Like a lot of these bitches don't have no goal in this. You ask them where they going, they don't even know where they going. Baby, write it down. Get you a vision board. Find you some stocks in this. Find you. You see everybody venturing out and doing other stuff. And mm. there's a lot of them that don't know to do that. And, you know, all of us are not as lucky as some of us are. Well, let me ask you a question. Respectfully, when I ask you this question, what do you say to the people that say, if you don't consider yourself a battle rapper, do you respect the craft of, of putting work together and being a dope female battle rapper? I definitely respect the craft. Once again, I do have a body of work. I've mm -hmm. always came. I've always showed up. I've never no show. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I can say to that is if if they don't know me, if they just stepping in the realm, the footage is mm -hmm. there. Look Lady J up. The footage is there. I always give my 180%. Y'all not getting no fucked up. When, when, when people say they want to see me on the card and they see me on the card, they always enjoy it. It's not going to be one of those things where I'm just showing up and you're not getting what you're looking for. But do you worry about the looking for it is more of the um, beauty of Lady J? No, no, it's not the more. beauty of Lady J, but everybody knows um, a product, for, for you to have a product, once again, my brand, I am the brand, I am the product. So at the end of the day, yeah, my look is a part of my job. Mm -hmm. Staying fit is a part of my job. That That's just... I mean, I'll run, because like I said, this is not my only form of business, but I do do cross-promotion. Mm. And um, you know, it's it, it's it's working in my favor. Mm. This is three rounds, right? Three rounds, three rounds, Jerry, Jerry, <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready for this. I'm stoked. Um, this is my URL debut. Yes, talk to me. Yes, how you feel um, about that? Let's talk about, long about that. Overdue. Um, y'all know I, I was supposed to battle in May on URL. I had I see you more. Um, mm -hmm. things happen and we didn't get a chance to battle so now you know I, I get to show up mm. are you able to watch a lot of um, um, J Love's battles to get prepared how are you prepared for this battle you um, gotta sit there and be enthused and just be in tune with everything she's done honestly no I'm, I'm, I'm watching myself mm. because a lot of times 
I, I you have to be better than your last battle. This like it, it never has nothing to do with my opponent. I need to make sure my delivery is where it's supposed to be. My bars are hitting like they're supposed to hit, and you know that I'm giving the people what they pay for. Mm. I like satisfied customers. <laughs> How do you take that? To, how do you, are we talking about the I, right I'm point? saying at the end of the day, we, we, we've said so many times, and it, it, it just kind of hurts mm -hmm. when you hear people having interviews like, um, you know, and I can side with her to an extent. Like, okay. that's just like Remy said, the females wasn't doing numbers for her. How you feel about that? Um, That's what I say. I mean, it kind of mm -hmm. hurts to hear it. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm not gonna say the female was, wasn't doing numbers. Okay, you're a YouTuber, right? Well, you're a blogger. Yes, yes, ma'am. Everybody know when you first start now, you're not gonna see the numbers that you're expecting at all. At all. And it's just, I think it's only just because she when she came in, her platform was new. So even if you're new, people still have to adapt to that brand before it start building up to be something. So when the men came in, the women had already warmed it up for them. Right. So I think that was kind of a little unjust and unfair if you know how the YouTube and, and the, the numbers work. It doesn't just work overnight like that. Not too many people can do that. It has to really be that viral moment to bring in that crowd for it to be instant. So that's what, that's just all I'm saying. I think they do. Um, it, it was a time where, you know, the women was putting out three million and four million when Queen of the Ring had the world shook. You see what I'm saying? But I think it's just over time, yeah, it do get watered down, but they lost those fans when Queen and the Ring wasn't pumping it back out. And then mm. also when you look at the new females, I hate to say it. I, I hate to be the bad person because I know, you know, but I'm going to just say it. A lot of people don't want to welcome in the new. They, that's why only when you see people, the females so successful is mainly the females that's been here 10 and 15 yes. years. They really don't take to new girls because a lot of people don't want change, which kind of sucks for the newbies because, you know, the numbers are not looking like they used to look. Long right. story short, if you see Lady J in person, you'll get an experience. It's not nothing like seeing it online. You get the experience. Maybe I'm passionate about my craft. No matter what job I'm doing, my brand is behind it, and I make sure I do good business. Mm. Wow. So do you have any associates in FEMA Battle Rap? I would say friends. I use the word associates or acquaintances. Can I use that word? I mean, I say hi hello. I mean, you know, I, I love Shuni and Farrah. Them probably the first two that I took to, which was, you know, two of my favorite battlers. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised y'all got along. I'm not surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So, and then, you know, I love coffee, but as far as like pulling up on people, going to their houses, this, 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 I don't really have that. And like I said, because I have other endeavors. Some, some of these people, better rap is they like, or right. they came in with these other people 10, like I said, 10 and 15 years ago. So those bonds have been built. But with these newbies, I try, like I said, Yoshi is probably the only person that I really took to. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it wasn't for me. The, it, it just wasn't for me. Who who did you look at? Who was your inspirations when you were coming up? Just rap, want to write raps and everything. The female rappers. Uh, actually, my male. brother. My brother actually used to battle rap before footage was coming out. He used to battle rap at the colleges, battle rap at the high school, battle rap at the lunch table. Um, And I just thought it was cool. I was always walking around with uh my poetry or whatever around the school, but my brother rapped. And then I went into rapping. And then when I started getting to see him do the live battle rap and all that, I'm like, you know what? I want I want to do that. Mm. Like, you sure this ain't for the week because he know he know I like to pop out. So he like, motherfucker might get to talking about you. You you gonna have to control yourself. And I'm like, no, that's for me. I like I like to be aggressive and I like to perform. So I knew that it would be a good lane for me. Did you guys have a relationship at all before the battle? You and Jay Love? How did no. You that no, actually, um, actually, I don't know J Love, but she seems like a very cool person, mm -hmm. and she, you know, she's not stuck up like these other bitches. She's ready to get out here and promote. Uh, I'm all about a bitch that's trying to get to her bag, so get get to bag, right? Let's get to bag. Yeah, this, this battle is not a battle of hatred. 
There's no animosity. There's no cattiness. There's no hate in this battle. Just two females. That, there's no hate. I'm still gonna put it in the ground. Ain't no hate. It don't gotta be no hate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't hate you, but if a nigga put a uh, motherfucking bag on your head, guess what? Right. <laughs> put the hit out, I'ma take it. Right, 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 right. So how far are you? Are you how far are you with the material? Um, I'm just I'm third, third. I, I, I got the first and second, right where I need to be. I'm just trying to take the third and then. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, um, just trying to perfect this third because I did kind of say, you know what, I might want to go a different direction. I wasn't gonna because, you know, who is it? Daddy. What's up, honey? <laughs> Mama gonna fill it out. Give me a second. <laughs> Thank you. It's been a girl, stop playing with me. Um, respectfully, yeah, you got this. Respectful, you got kids? I do. I do. How do you, how do you I kids do. feel about your about your fame and your um, you know, what you got going on? You said what? How do your kids feel about what you got going on career wise? Um, they be excited. I mean, you know, they be having everybody and their mama watching. I can't go nowhere. They got their friends calling me Lady J. I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm not your friends. Friends, they can't call me Lady J. <laughs> <laughs> But um, uh, I I think they kind of used to it because me as a blogger, um, mm. even then they used to be like, my mama do videos, my mama get a lot of views, da 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 da. Mm -hmm. So they know who I am, they know how I'm coming. This this is who I always been, and like I said, I used to do shows because I did used to rap. So I mean, you know, this ain't nothing new for them. They they know I'm gonna come 100 percent, and they're athletes as well, so okay. they already know what's up. Mm. I'll be telling you, go out there and give it 110. Mm -hmm. Go out there and give it 110 because your mama wouldn't do nothing less. So, you know, I, I'm raising them to be hustlers. Right. Right. How far are you in your material? How far are you with your material for um, J Love? That's why I said, I said um, I'm perfecting my third. I think, okay. uh, I mean, today they, they went crazy on Twitter today. So I'm like, um, why you want to you explain to the people that might not know why they went crazy on Twitter? You want to you want to tell the people that might not know why? You they know, went do, doing my 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 promo, uh, me and Love out there promoting the battle, um, and you know, like I said, this was what the people wanted to see. So mm -hmm. it's everywhere right now. If you pull up Twitter and you don't see me, then you you ain't following the right people. We, it, you know, so it's all, it's almost Blue Room viral. Let's okay, edu educate me right quick. Who set who set it off first? Was it you or was it J Love? Say what up? Who, no, who was the first person to go viral with their with their belongings? Well, that that's the thing. Um, I don't think she ever had a viral moment for it. Okay. So <laughs> let me just say, um, you know, I went viral in the blue room. It just mm. was what it was, and, and and it's been going ever since then. I think she did pull her breast out against Miss Petty, but I don't think people really took to it. And then I heard she had another pull out in the Bags and Bodies house, but that footage hasn't dropped yet. So right now, I'm holding the the titty exposure crown. Well, you did say if she don't have three angles like this, it's already a dump for sure. You know, you said it's a dump for her. It's a dub for her. Um, I don't, don't get into it. That love can rap. Love can mm -hmm. rap her ass off. That's how I know that this is gonna be a, a phenomenal battle, and right. the people gonna get what they want. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it is she enough for me? Um, no. Like like I said, I'm gonna talk. She gonna come. She gonna have some bars. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm gonna talk some real life shit with her. Like at the end of the day, yeah, we we gonna come to rap. I'm a I'm a rap by where I've been. Mm. You're going to rap about what you hear about. It's the difference. Right. We're right. not the same. I am a Marsha. <laughs> describe, describe your 2023 to me. Um, Very impactful. 2023 okay. is very impactful. Uh, very great in that financial aspect. Um, you know, mm. I graduated. Yes. And 
So nursing school is still rolling for me. Um, it's it's been a wonderful 2023. I don't owe 2023 nothing. If if we went into 2024 tomorrow, I have no regrets in 2023. Mm, wow, that's what's up. You so know, I'm and sure. that's what I, I would like to just hope to see some of the ladies do is branch out, like just you know, seeing Shuni host on the 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 Chrome. I think that was good for her. That's an opportunity to branch out because we have these platforms and sometimes people just don't know what to do with them. I have people with bigger names than me that I have a bigger following in. And I'm just like, you know, do some, you know, they could do something with that fan base, but they don't. And I guess a lot of times, like I said, they don't know really where they're going with this. Well, what can they do though? What, what, what do you think certain females can do though? Um, it, it's a lot of stuff they can do, like hosting, blogging, TV, uh, radio, podcasts. It t-shirts, merch, something. It's people with mm. big names that don't have no merch or never had no merch. Mm. You have merch? Uh oh. <laughs> she rarely got the merch. Okay. When you see me at the event, I always got merch. And I yeah. gotta shout out Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty was one of the first top tiers to purchase my merch, and he purchased two shirts right after me and Tasha Battle. So shout out Rum Nitty. But yo, it's cakey, cakey, cause you know mm -hmm. everything cakey from the top to the bottom, everything cakey. So fuck with the drip. If you wanna get get with the cakey brand, you could definitely hit me up. I will ship that out to you, as long as you in the U.S. Yes, ma'am. Um, are you expecting both outfits to be interesting on the thirteenth between you and G <laughs> Um, I know mine is. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm. I make people come a hundred percent different than they always do. I make people go get their motherfucking hair done, uh, come out the closet and fuck it, start fucking niggas again. So, um, <laughs> shout out Tato. Um, <laughs> I make bitches come uh -huh. for the show. For the show. And like I said, you need to sell your brand, baby. Why are we getting up here? I'm not trying to drop no footage that nobody is going to see. Ain't no point in that. If you just trying to get a thousand views, go battle Sally up the street. Don't even entertain Lady J. Hmm. Are you expecting a viral moment on the uh, 13th? Um, huh. I'm going to be honest. In the setting that it's going to be in, an uh, app battle. I don't know how viral that can go. I don't know mm -hmm. how viral that can be. Good point. Good point. Um, it could actually possibly hinder the results of the battle. Mm -hmm. With us having such a big name, I definitely feel this is one of those that should get a YouTube drop. Um, because I ain't no point in having such an impactful battle and nobody know, nobody know about it. So. You impactful battle. Impactful. Mm -hmm. What's gonna make you and what's gonna make you and Jay love impactful, Lady J? Um, like I said, I, I know I know love gonna do her shit. She gonna come and do her numbers because she already know don't come in that plan mm -hmm. with Lady J. People can say what they want, but nobody can literally say they smoke Lady J. You have mm -hmm. to fucking rap. Say what you want about my delivery, bitch. You have mm -hmm. to fucking rap every time. You have to you have to rap. Mm -hmm. You have to rap. I don't care what nobody say. Lady J gonna give you a fucking battle. You never gonna smoke me. At, at best, a debatable. Mm. Well, no, you think it was debatable? You went Tato? Yeah, I mean, did you see the coming? This Damn. Is, first off, we, no. first off, we gotta be mindful. This is an opinionated sport. Yes, yes, of course, of course. This is an opinionated sport. Yes. At the end of the day, if we was talking numbers, the numbers say Lady J won. All right, you won and lost. I'll <laughs> Look, we also have to be mindful. Right. You, we comparing three minute rounds to three ten minute rounds. So nine minutes versus thirty minutes. That's not that's that's nothing to talk about. And it still was the debatable. People still got you losing. You still not getting booked. You still ain't getting QB. You still ain't at the top of the card. Your ass ain't on nothing but the intake. Stop playing with me. How did you win? <laughs> Where did you win? She Financially, won I won. 
on the numbers, I won. In the comments, I won. In the world, I but won. Why did you I win? Won why, why, in why, real why? life, I won in real life. But, how, but did you win because of material of lyrics, or was it more of the shock value of what you did? Like I said, man? when you got a ten minute round, you supposed to have more. I had her winning in the building. I said on camera it was gonna look different. Mm -hmm. When we did the bar breakdown, if you can go look. And married to better rap, married to bars. Mm -hmm. They did a breakdown. The couple, the couple I don't, I'm familiar with them. I'm Without with them. showing, what, they didn't show no footage. They didn't show the people. People still had me winning without knowing who I was. When we went bar for bar and they did the bar breakdown, they still mm -hmm. had Lady J. So before <laughs> you see me, before you see the Aston Web, you see, I'm going to rap and I do have bars. A 10-minute round don't phase me, but you tried to show up because you knew you had to. And you was in your house. And you on two teams. Like, at the end of the day, it was in your favor in the house. I knew once it came out on camera, it wasn't going to be a good look for her. Because all the people that vouched for her, nobody shared her battle. Why ain't you sharing your win? Oh, no, I want you to do it. I want to see if you're going to get this 100K that you got with blue cocaine. You got to be mindful. Every battle is different. And with YouTube, when you drop the shit, it all depends on the time you drop it, what battle you dropped it after, or what battle you dropped it before. Algorithm is a motherfucker. So yeah. you, you can't say, oh, well, you did 100K with blue cocaine, them her views. No, that's not possible because I, I did 60,000 with some nobodies. So you can't say, oh, them blue cocaine, blue cocaine didn't share the battle. When I when me and blue cocaine battled, that shit posted it one time. It didn't even have a picture. It literally was a link. Oh, my battle dropped. And we ain't see it no more. When me and Caution battle dropped, we got more views than her, Ash Cass, and whoever else she just recently battled. And she shared the battle once. So they gonna stop playing with me and don't play on my name, don't play on my top. I come and I show up and I rap and motherfuckers want to see Lady J. Well, Lady J, let me ask you a question though. Are you worried about people? No, I'm no, never worried no. about people. Hit me, hit me out, hit me out though, sister. That's where it's already a know it. No, but hit me, hit me out real quick. Are you worried about people looking at you more than being in tune with what Lady J has to say as the rapper, as the MC, as the woman that, that cares about her craft of rapping? No, they can't look at it like that because Lil' Kim was a sex symbol in a rap. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Trina was a sex oh, symbol in a rap. Shauna, yes. Don't say yeah. a sex symbol and a singer. Mm -hmm. Let's just not act like it's not her performances. They don't show up for her fucking songs. They show up for her performances. She still makes the check. She's still on the Forbes. Y'all, stop playing with me. At the end of the day, it's never about what people think because it's going to be always somebody with an opinion. I don't care. They can think whatever they want to think about me. Did I still cash out? Oh, okay. I'm, I cater to the people who do fuck with me, not the oh, ones that right. don't. Right. Because for every for every two people that don't like me, it's ten that do. Absolutely, absolutely. Like, you, you're. I, I'm not the market for everybody. Everybody might not grasp to me, but mm. it's people that are. There is an audience for me. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Not everybody cup of tea, but what they say. Um, I might not be the whiskey you need. Right. <laughs> I might be, I might not be the whiskey you want, but I'm the water you need. Stop playing me. Chrome 23. Is that something that you want to um touch? Um, I would love to. Um I would love to see see. I mean, if that happens, uh, I'm in favor of it. There's there is no league that I would not battle on, honestly. Like right. I don't have nothing against nobody. I'm not locked into any kind of contract. Um I just do good business. You want to do business? Let's do business. I don't do all the politicking. Miss me with the politics. Hit me up. I'm available. And my business, whatever, is going to be the same all across the board. Nobody get no, no, nothing. Nobody get no specialties. I'm still going to ask for what I'm going to ask for. I'm still going to say what I'm going to say. You either with it or you not. Like, I don't have no, nothing against nobody. Book me. Hit me up. KLTD. Let me say this. KLTD. I love y'all. Your girl's trying to get over there. I'm trying to battle on KOTD. I think I'm what y'all looking for. Um, bring your girl out. Let me let me smoke some over there. That's all I have to say. You want to battle dudes or just strictly females only? Yeah, I want to battle dudes. I want to battle dudes, but I, 
I actually feel like dudes are slightly easier unless you're really just dealing with a top that's really that nigga. A lot of men do know how do not know how to approach women. They don't though. Y'all did they don't. They really that's, don't. That's why Shayna did Rosenberg as bad as she did him. Yeah, she be she be froze. Uh, she did. Uh, a lot they of them was my nigga, but I had hustle winning, even though he went viral with his shit. And Bonnie beat him also, I thought. That's what I'm saying. It, yeah. I think women have the upper hand because you can only do that talking about a woman and body shaming a woman so much in a round to where it's lackluster. We knew you was going to say that. What else? Is it though Tay Rock went viral with, with official? Yeah, but I mean, the, the females didn't like it. Tay Rock went viral because he Tay Rock. That's his brand. He wasn't That's feeling that big by it. It was a lot of people like that that didn't even make sense. That was not good. It was lackluster. But because he is Tay Rock and he is a household name, yeah, it's gonna go viral. Mm. He he got pulled. I mean, he could put something out. Yeah, uh, media take guy. Well, once it get on a viral site, I don't care good or bad. That's just like right now on your timeline. What's on your timeline? Sexy Ray. It's a bad sex tape, but it's still viral. Right. You see what I'm saying? So mm. people people going sometimes your if your name. Do numbers and your name do numbers. It, that's just what it is. Give me a favorite top bat, top five battles that Lady J likes a lot. Her favorite top five battles of all time. Um, I like the Hollow versus John John. Okay. Sue Surf. Oh, he had came in Houston. I forgot who he battled. Um, what's another one of my go-tos? Sure about Houston. I, forgot who I like, I like. Mook and the and the Mook versus Geechee. That's in my top. Okay. His rounds is. So I, I ain't gonna say I, I ain't really like Geechee rounds that battle, but that's in that's in my top uh because of Mook rounds. Um who else? That's probably about it. That's probably about it. It's not a lot of them. Um I, I watch them all the same, so I ain't gonna say I, I just got no favorites or whatever, but yeah, but those are in my top. The the Jun Jun versus Hollow. I think Surf Battle Nitty, right? Nitty in Houston. Yeah. You know what? Rum Nitty versus Grease. If y'all mm -hmm. haven't seen that battle, go watch that battle. That battle is too fucking fire. That battle is too fire. Um, it's hard to even pick a winner. You don't see too many people coming that close to Rum Nitty. It's hard to pick a winner, but mm -hmm. yeah, that's a fire ass battle. Were you nervous the, the the night the morning of the battle with you and Lady Caution being at at the crib? Were you nervous at all? No, I wasn't nervous. Um, I think a lot of time I like it when I'm the underdog, which I'm usually the underdog. But mm. because our back and forth and how she was saying she was on the run and she not gonna lose, and then she had soon she said that in a spaces she went and battled Shay Rack. And lost, and then came to me and lost. So, you know what I'm saying? She kind of ate her words. I like being an underdog because, you know what I'm saying? I, I always have something to prove, and then that's what makes me work on my craft harder. Hmm. Okay. How many battles do you think do you think you're gonna have next year? Um, I think I think uh, it's gonna be an amazing next year. It's gonna be an amazing next year. I mean, honestly, even if y'all don't see me, I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna be a ring card girl. Maybe y'all gonna see me bring my blog. Yeah, all the things going on. I, this is not your calling. You're not, I, you know. People, Stop saying that. Stop saying that. I'm, I, I don't, why, I don't, why do you like, act like when you say it, it, it's always like you make it like it has to be a one lane thing? Like, no, you have oh, to. No, no, no. I, I apologize if you take it. Listen, I apologize if you take it that way. I don't mean it that way. I, in fact, that's more of a compliment to you that I said that I feel you could branch okay. out to other things besides. Battle rap. That's what I'm saying. That's a compliment. Compliment to you, though. Yeah, but no, it ain't a thing. I don't mean no interview. That's clearly my calling. I get up there and do what I'm supposed to do. Um, it, it, it's not a one lane thing. And anybody that's in the mindset that it's a one lane thing, they losing their life. Um, I had, I, I can say my titties was out, and Twerk might have said, "Oh no, that's that's not the Lady J I know," because he know me way before I really got into the battle rap thing or whatever so he know me as conservative and quiet and like i said i always been to myself i still am but um 
he was like, oh, oh, don't let battle rap change you. And that's that's one of the things I had to tell him. Like at the end of the day, battle rap could never change me. I look at the females in battle rap and I don't want their life. It's some of the men that make money in battle rap and I don't want their life because a lot of them are ba have bad money management. Um, they they're not investing in stocks. I'm right. learning stocks. They not walking around with 401ks. I got a 401k. I'm it, it, I'm putting myself through nursing school. I'm my own pocket. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I could never. And that's why I, I am not a battler. I <laughs> am an entertainer. And it doesn't mean that it's not my calling. I, I do love to do it. I love to entertain and I love to get on stage for the people. But no, I am not a battler. Here's what I'm trying to say to add on to what I was trying to give you more context also. I don't think you're sitting there trying to be top five female battle rap MC. I don't. I don't think that's your. You know what I'm saying. I don't think you're gonna. You're gonna get mad if if you're not Wody in top five conversation and Wody and, and shit like that. Okay, you're well, more nonchalant and respectful. You're nonchalant, but that that's not in a disrespectful manner. But you have a yeah, nonchalant. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. But yeah, you're right. Well, if you say it in that in that manner, then yeah. you're right. Because I mean, I. I I'm not fighting for a world title because yeah, because you're going to a nursing school. Now, if they was giving us what they was giving the Cody's. <laughs> now, if the money was the same as the Cody's, then I probably would be like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, I have said, you know, that's why I'm glad me and love is three rounds. I have said, hey, I, I do want to be more impactful. I do want to let everybody know I'm outside. I do want them to, you know, recognize me for my bars. But I've been. I might have had 15, 16 battles already in bars is never what well, people have when it comes to female battle rap, a lot of them are not coming for bars. They want the caddy shit and and all the looks. And it's not a lot of female battlers in battle rap that have looks. And I can't help it that I'm one of them that do. Why are you laughing? Well, you do you have listen, how, yeah. how long have they said pretty women can't rap? Or they be like, all the female battle is ugly. And Listen, I give Shuni and Farrah props all the time in this. I felt like when they came into the game, they brought elegance to female battle rap and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I see what you're doing with it. Hustle now. You know what I'm saying? Jazz. So a lot of some of you ladies are really making sure, you know, yeah. Yeah. you didn't need respect for you. You're not, you're not, you didn't, you didn't need Remy Ma to help out to get you to look, you know what I'm saying? To add on to what you got on already. You think what I'm saying? Thanks for pointing that out. Thanks for pointing that out. I wasn't waiting on the league owner to tell me. It was already. Respectfully. 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 Yeah. Is there any female you want to battle? That you like, I just want to, you know. Um, if it stops tomorrow, I, I want this my bucket list. I, I was supposed to get Bonnie in December. That uh, That's a battle that I'm hoping for. I don't know if it's going to happen this year, but next year. Out and since Shayna back outside, I would battle Shayna next year. And that smoke, you don't want that smoke. Uh, and e that. still outside, I battle E Heart. Like, I ain't that. You don't want that Shayna smoke, baby J. What you don't want that? You don't want that Shayna smoke, man. No, I mean, I, I want the smoke because I respect it. Like I said, anybody that's gonna make me right. you know saying really have <laughs> focus and right. put myself to the test, you only get better after the test. Absolutely, absolutely. I, One I, thing. I, I need those people, the the ones that nobody think can be beat. So I, I you know, I need the pressure to be on. So I'm like, okay, yeah. You don't lack confidence, oh sister. That's one thing. You do not lack. Any, that's. I don't even think you know what that means. I don't even think you. Understand. No, I know what that means. I, I never do. I never do. Um, I'm 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 100 confident, and like I said, it just comes from. For the longest, I ain't gonna say I wasn't confident, but it was a point in time where I hated my body. And I'm not just saying my body, but my titties. I hated my titties because I got titties in the fifth grade. And I that's I couldn't walk to school without the horns, or it was a time where I was actually about to be kidnapped. So mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's not it put me in a shell to be closed off. I got off the porch late. Let me just say that. I got oh. off the porch late. I ain't started getting into boys till 11th grade. I just didn't want people looking at me. I didn't wear nothing revealing. I was all it because for so long it was getting all the wrong attention and right, I, right, right, right. so just imagine but mm. now that I'm older and I'm grown and know what I could do with that attention versus, you know what I'm saying, the 
child couldn't do nothing with that. Boy, be scared. Mm. So now, yeah. you know, I'm older and now I know what I could do with it. And then so many times, people have said to me, you sitting on a gold mine. And I'm like, you know what? You absolutely. So, so where did you explore that? You know what? I'm going to be more revealing. I'm going to, I'm more, I'm more confident in my physical anatomy and stuff like that. When you know, did you start? You know what made me more confident? Toys. I got into toys about three years ago. It's, it's, uh, once you sit in a mirror and see yourself for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. It took you a couple of years ago to see that where you've been. How old? If you want me, I know it's not good to ask. What now, let me, let me tell you. All right. I'm a, I'm a, a serial monogamous. Um, you know, I come from an era where I don't believe in cheating and all this. You, all don't, believe you don't believe in that? No, at the time. <laughs> okay, my bad. Continue. <laughs> I apologize. Continue. <laughs> this conversation. At the time, I am, like I said, I am somebody who kind of grew up on fairy tales, believing that love is this. And I used to try to hold on to whatever love was supposed to be at a very young age and kind of gave all my 20s and try to be everything for my fiance and this, that, and the other end. You know what I'm saying? I, You only can get experience if you get out there. So with you dealing with one person, you only can get what they give you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So once I, me and my fiance broke it off and I became celibate, then I was getting out my celibacy phase and got into toys. And then once I seen all the things that it could do, you know, the, the saying what it's really made for, yeah. Once, once I can see what it's really made for, <laughs> that's different, you know. Thirties are different. Let me just say that. How, how old you? How old you know? How old you know? Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Okay, okay. So, is it hard for you to be? Let me. I'm pretty sure a lot of men approach you all the time, right? Okay. So, your curve game must be impeccable. Uh, the curve game is strong. Um, the curve game is strong. I'm pretty sure it's strong. It's strong because honestly, even if after they get past the first interview. I'm a little out of touch because I am in nursing school and I know how you could easily lose focus. And because I am investing so much money into school, I can't afford to let nobody knock me off my rock. So anybody can tell you Lady J is bad at texting. I, I don't have attachment issues. I'm I'm far from clingy. Like you gonna think you gonna think the sex was good, the date was good, the conversation was good. Why she ain't hit me up? I I'm a nigga now. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm a nigga now. I think you know. Hopefully, I can get back in touch with my feminine side once I get out of nursing school. But I refuse to let some man come along and make me think that it's gonna be something that is not. And this 2023, ain't nobody looking for love. You believe that? It's 2023. That was a shot at my opponent. You you didn't pick up on the bar. <laughs> That's 2023. Ain't nobody looking for love. See, you behind. You behind. I'm slick with it. But um, no, um, you know, right now they put out a false representation of what um love is and what What romance is. We have romance with our people thinking that it's a transaction because men feel like I'll take you on a date. Uh, Um, date mean dick at the end. No, it don't. (laughs) <laughs> right, 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 no it right, don't right, but that's right. those are the times we are living in well you know I gotta see if it's really real it's, it's an action thing with me and not words surprise me with flowers don't even tell me you gonna send them like don't some people will do things to just to make you some I, I've heard a man tell me like or the sent photos like these is the baddies he done fuck with and he feel like because he took them on one date they seen what he was driving. They see what he live in or see what he work. He right. know he can fuck them just based off that alone. Bitches be trying to fuck them thinking that's going to lock them in and that's not. If a man want to deal with you, he going to deal with you and it ain't going to have nothing to do with it if you did it on the first night or the last night. Hmm. So, is, it hard, is, it, is it hard for you to, to to give a man a chance because there's so many men coming at you you don't know which one has good intentions or has the, your best interest at heart? Um, and like you said, that you go to school, you can't have nobody. It, fuck. It's different if if you was fucking with conservative Jay, but if you see me in the limelight and and now you trying to slide in and 
Yeah, I, I, I'm really not paying you no attention. Like, good, good dick don't even get my attention, baby. Let's just, like, hey, that was good. Don't call my phone. I'll hit you when I'm in town. Whatever. I'm pretty sure you've dealt with a lot of, you dealt with a lot of insecure men in your, in your time, right? Yeah. Um, but it's always been that. Like I said, even when I was conservative and I was finally trying to find myself, I, I did do modeling. I did hair magazines. I did walking fashion shows. So I've always been in the public. Right. I, you see what I'm saying? I've always been an entertainer. So at the end of the day, you know, I dealt with men that was, oh, the producer in the studio on a sleep Jew and the photographer just want to see you naked and da 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 it does bring on a strong insecurity, but you know, a lot of times some men want to box you in so nobody else wants you while they still out there chasing everything else. That's some 20 something shit. Mm -mm. Yeah. So what's the ideal guy that you like for you for you? Um I, I need somebody that's no know, knows where he's going. A lot of people don't know where they're going. It's okay mm -hmm. to have a job, it's okay to have a nine to five. I ain't I ain't bring you down, but so you've been on your nine to five, five years, and you scared to ask for a raise? Are you scared to move up in the department because you don't want extra responsibilities or because you content in the position you in? I, 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 no, I, I don't give a damn if you at the Burger King, motherfucker, make general manager hmm. because they do still get close to the hundred, you know, to six figures. So at the hmm. end of the day, you could still be somebody with a nothing ass job, but do you have drive behind you? I just, I just want somebody with some drive. A lot of people don't have drive. I'm tired of meeting men where you have to push them to be somebody or you, you trying to grow the potential in them. You trying to water those seeds. Sometimes if they don't see it, they don't see it. They will never see it. That's deep. Yeah. That was, deep. That was, that was real. That was real what you just said though. Why did you choose nursing? I've always uh, helped people. I've always been the person that's going to like I done, done home health care and washed asses. I did all kind of shit, Lady J. God damn. I, I done push wheelchairs. I done drove Metro handicap bus to help the older people. I it, it brings me joy. That's just like when my grandpa was in the hospital dying. That was probably one, one of the worst things I could witness. I stayed in the hospital for three consecutive days. I didn't move. Oh. I didn't leave. I didn't eat. I didn't do a damn thing till I needed to see if they was going to pull a card, if he was going to breathe at all or whatever. But and in the midst of that, when whatever the nurses wasn't doing, I'm I'm flipping them, I'm making sure the the catheter is clean or whatever. Like I'm the person that's gonna come help you if you're sick, uh, you got COVID, what whatever. I'm gonna be the person that's gonna come help you. Wow, how, how much how much um courses you have left? Are you in the bachelor's, master's? What are, you, what are you trying to get? The bachelor's. I got the associates, and I'm going for my bachelor's. I got a year and a half left. Wow, that's what's up, man. That's just what I'm trying to say. You, to me, I don't look at you as a bad. I think you got other things going on, bigger things going on. I don't see. Listen, I don't see rapping more than two, three years. Yeah, yeah, but, that. but that's the thing. Yeah, it's it's definitely an in and out thing for me. Um, but I do want to, you know, make sure I leave my blessings behind. Like even if I become PR or like I said, do go into the blogging thing because, like I, said, I was a blogger. That's something that I was doing. And I was my blogging. Huh? I, I was doing, you know, reality TV stars, celebrity, celebrity vlogging, blogging. So, um, yeah, and that I know how to, that's why I know how to talk when I get on here. I know how to talk in these interviews and I know how to not let you take me where you want me to go. I control the conversation. <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. What do you think about Geechee and Easy? Uh, I, I, it, it got crazy, right? Um, one of the most talked battles in the world, and they did three million, they did a million views in three days. Um, shout out to them, yes, it, it did what they wanted it to do. Now, some people might have felt like it wasn't bar heavy and it was more catty, but once again, sometimes. Even when it's bad, you still win. Mm. And and that that's just me showing that right there. You can rap like shit, but if you have a strong fan base, 
people love you for what you've done in the past or people love you because they know who you are as a person all the time it's, it, it's just that's just like cardi cardi wasn't no rapper cardi was a com online comedian that's, yeah yeah that yeah. got her on TV. And then once she got on TV and got that fan base, she branched out to be a rapper because now she can afford people to write for her. Mm. So it's all on how you decide to do it. I'm if you sit back and worry about people, you're gonna keep on filing on your ass. Mm. What was your thoughts on Geechee's third? What do you what, what, where were you at watching this? What was going through your mind? Um, I did watch it. Uh we did pay to see that. Um I, I was just, you know, I think all of us was like, whoa. No, I don't want you to mess the bag up. No, no, no. no. We we the bag up. Already talking about it. The uh, headlines already questioning it. Yeah. And it was exactly what we knew would happen. He was going to bring out, talk about the fight, mm -hmm. talk mm -hmm. about the girl. And mm -hmm. so it still left everybody open ended. We still don't have answers. But at the end of the day, you know, it, it was fun to see. It was fun to see them get in there and do that. And yeah. And I'm pretty sure you, a person like yourself, can appreciate a viral moment. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. That's why I'm yeah, like, it was everything it. supposed to be, and I commend them. They they did their numbers because at the end of the day, that's what I'm saying. People can say all the time, "Oh, well, what if they, what if they don't hear your bars? It, it's too much ass out, whatever." However, at the end of the day, when it's said and done, they look at those numbers. Numbers is what gets you paid. Sexy Red ain't said nothing that we want to hear. Num, but her numbers. Did right. everything that it was supposed to do, and it's all about numbers. I don't care what people say, it's all about numbers. Say what you want about me. I'm gonna create my moment. I am gonna rap. I do have love for the culture, but the love that I had for the culture wasn't getting me the looks like that. The love that I had for the culture wasn't getting me paid like that. And it, 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 I look the highest female battle, and I'm not gonna say she ain't never had 50,000, but at the end of the day. Women do not get paid like the men in this sport. Get right, in right. and fucking get out because this is nothing to set your retirement on. But I, I, listen, I don't, I don't know every everyone's situation, but you're more vocal about your situation. You're more vocal about other ventures that you have, right? So I don't know if a lot of women are in a position like yourself. You know what I'm saying? Where they get some, you know. I mean, it's, like I said, even, it's a lot even, of, even with the men, even with the men, you know what I'm saying? It's you, a lot of them that have a bigger fan base. Um, than me that probably really just don't know where to go with this or they waiting for their next battle for their next meal right. And, right. or probably been battling so long they don't want to go back to the work field or because somebody going to use it in a battle they scared to go back to the work field like oh nigga you a nurse nigga and I am <laughs> and I am <laughs> so uh, yeah I'm not concerned about if, if people discuss my 9 to 5 or discuss my OnlyFans or whatever they discuss it just keep discussing me the more you discuss me the more it, my, my coin yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got you you're eating good you're eating good I'm pretty sure right music what's up do you do music at all um, not anymore. Um, I have, I just chose not to get back into the music because I am not really a nightlife girl. And I say that because like, if anybody know when you building yourself, you have to be in the clubs. You have to be talking to the DJs. You have to be basically on the scene way more often. And then studio time ain't cheap. If, if I was trying to be a rapper now, shit, I'd be having to try to catch a Rico like the rest of them. No, that's not shots to so sorry, but I'm just saying like O and B blood. No, bag. No, I didn't take it that way. I didn't take it that way. I don't but there's two times and I, right. these, I'm talking Houston rappers. Like I see it myself for them to put their stuff on and go in there and actually make their good music and pay these producers and pay these DJs. That stuff costs money. I don't know if I want to throw all my money into that because I'm not all in when it comes to rap. I'm not all in as far as that because, like I said, I mean, I'm throwing all my money into nursing. That's why I'm all in it. Mm. What kind of what kind of music did you make when you were doing music? Um, it wasn't about I, I it wasn't about my pussy. I can say that it wasn't about it wasn't about trick tricking niggas neither. Um, more introspective. It it was like it was club music. It was club music, but it wasn't at, like air shaking for real. Like I I'm sassy. I'm I'm girly. Like even though you know I, I can't breathe some masculine energy, I am very girly and feminine. 
even in my music. Mm -hmm. You you gotta remember, like I said, I did do poetry at a time, so yeah, poetry, right, 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 right. romantic. So, are yeah. you R and B R and B girl? That's your vibe. You listen to R and B also, old school R and B. Um, I do. That's what I listen to. I have an old soul. So, you Mary or Beyonce? Mary or Beyonce? Hmm? Mary or Beyonce? Mary J or Beyonce? Mary. You're not going with hometown. You're not going. Home. You're not going with hometown. Beyonce. Um, I agree with you too. I agree with you. Someone, please call nine one. Come on now. At the end of the day, that that's what I'm sitting back listening to. I do want to cater to you. I do like to dance for you. I like all of that stuff. But my playlist is solely old school music. I do have the Betty Wright. I do have the Johnny Luka, Taylor. The Luka, I do the guy. So you know, Bobby Womack. Color me bad, I, baby face. Like baby face. I, I'm, I'm that person. I'm the light the candle, laying in your lap, listen to some music, rubbing your scalp, whatever. Like I like that. Listening to the rain, fucking to slow music. Like I'm still, yeah, I'm old school. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this. <laughs> You are very entertaining, though, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. You are a very entertaining person. I don't. Well, let me ask you a question. I feel like I just. Do you feel like you really bust on the scene after the Tato battle? Do you feel like people knew right after that is when you really got the eye? I think. I think. That's and you, and, 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 two part question. That's and if you I, capitalize, that's you when capitalize I got more vocal with it. Because mind you, like I said in the first interview we had together. Yes. I was actually hiding my OnlyFans. So you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I went out on faith. I quit my job. And I was like, well, I'm at home. So I go to some school, some classes in class and online or whatever. So I'm like, you know, I needed to do something that I could do at home. And that was going to afford me nursing school. And mm -hmm. like I said, I mean, I do it anyway. I like looking at myself. I accept myself. It's, you know, it's a pleasure. So, you know. I didn't share with the masses at first, but now, I mean, once it was out, it was out. Right, right. What happens when you tell people you battle rap? When they like you battle, they, they, they look at you like, ain't no motherfucking way you battle rap. You get that a lot. Um, like as a phlebotomist, the people that worked under me, they definitely was like, ain't no way, like ain't no way, cause. They still think I'm kind of quiet. I'm not, I would not like a mean manager or anything, but they still think I'm quiet. And then the way I sit in there talking to them patients like that, mm -hmm. they would have never guessed. But some patients, once they get a certain level of personal with me, I'm like, Yeah, I do. Oh, you do music. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I better have over. So, yeah, um, people would never suspect it, people would never look at me and guess. Yeah, you, you, don't, uh, you don't, you don't give us that kind of vibes. Um, have you lived in Houston your whole life? I haven't. I haven't. So you moved around a little bit. You moved around, see other cities and states, right? Yeah, no, only for a, a small time. I went to Oklahoma. And I was in Oklahoma. Boring, but was um, I was raising me, so I was between my aunt and my mom. So my mom got my mom got eight kids. See what I'm saying? It's eight of y'all. It's eight of us. So what number are you? I'm number two. You number two. Wow. But a mixture of boys and girls are just a lot. I've, of I've always been a mama. Um, six girls, two boys. Six girls. Six girls, two boys. Oh. And you know, and the beauty of it, my mom got four kids who got kids, four kids who don't, and the four kids, the the four upper, we all medical students. So That's you know, up, That's yeah, my sister histotech. Uh, my other sister is in nursing. I got a sister right now. She's finna finish with her business management bachelor's, and I'm I'm finna finish with my bachelor's in nursing. So, wow. you know, I think that we just we just help. We're just natural born helpers. I don't know. Mm. Well, you got a lot of things going on, though, Lady Jane. Man, I'm not gonna lie to you. you I've, I've, lie. I've lived. I can say that I've lived. Man, you're 33 years old. You're still young. So I'm not gonna let you some old head. You still, you still young. I am. But, but you know, it's funny. You, know, you said you don't go to clubs. That's not your. That's not your box. You don't I'm, go. Out. I'm a brunch kind of girl. Ain't nothing in the club for me. I'm not a smoker. I don't drink only occasionally. So I mean, what's really in the club for me? Them people be high. They be out pills. They be this, this. They want to fight when they get drunk. 
Um, it's really not my scene. Right. I, but I don't think that you have to go to a club to really enjoy yourself. That's some people's fix, but it's not for me. Mm. All right. like, well, I'm old school. A nigga, a nigga already know if he get me, he, he got a homebody that still can go out, have fun, turn up with you, let the women twerk on you, whatever, whatever. We could go out, have fun, not stay out late, come in, still you're going to get your meal. I don't care what hours you work. I'm going to cook for you at whatever hours. And, you know, we're going to have fun. And we gonna have something real. I'm not. I'm not looking for this artificial ass shit. You know how to cook? Very good. Did Did you not hear me say I'm the second oldest? <laughs> I don't. What does that mean? Right, the second oldest. What does that mean? Oh. Is under you. You have no choice. Yeah, you ain't got no choice. You right. You right, mama. You we right, have yeah, you too. I had to learn it from scratch. Mm. What's your What's your favorite meal to cook, to cook up? Um, I like meatloaf. Uh, meatloaf is probably my lamb chops on my meatloaf is probably at the top of the ranks. Mm. That's what's up, man. I'm looking. So um, this battle is based on um on the app, right? You and you and um J Love is the app battle. I do believe it is. If final, it's wherever final exams gonna be. I hope they put it on YouTube. If y'all go, if y'all go viral in this wild out, <laughs> I wonder what they're gonna do with this battle. If y'all go there. Where I think y'all gonna go there? Are you gonna take it there? Do you think? Do you think that because what you guys did today, your viral moment on social media, now people are expecting some something like that during the battle, <laughs> and is that too much? Um. Well, yeah, that's why I said. I said I think now they're gonna be expecting a show. <laughs> they're gonna be expecting a show. Mm. You think so? I'm Big kidding. time show, right? Yeah. They're yeah. gonna get a show. They're gonna, they gonna get a show. I mean, final exams will be talked about from here uh, well on into next year. They're gonna get a show. What's your take on Yoshi and Vixen? Um, I think Vixen Vixen on Smoker. Um I, I that's just what I'm at with. I think Vixen on Smoker. Uh she she might get in that hang in there, but Vixen actually do rap rap. Mm -hmm. So she don't really have to look for a moment. Her bars is her moment. Um, man, she got the looks to go with it. So I think that Vixen, Vixen, I mean, shit, you seen on DNA. I don't think Yoshi could battle DNA right now and win. So what Vixen did with Tay Rock, what Vixen she did. Chilla. She just be chilling. She be chilling on the right card and shit. Like what that. Did with Tay Rock. Amazing yeah. DNA, amazing. I mean, mm -hmm. that's kind of. I don't know if Yoshi haven't faced that kind of pressure other than drugs. Drugs, 40 pressure, hmm? 40 bars is pressure. She hasn't faced the kind of pressure that Vixen has faced. Okay, okay, like, that's, yeah, right, yeah. DNA, that's a so, lot of pressure for anyone. Yeah. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying, but. I think the the biggest male battle yo she had to have pressure with, with was drugs because drugs didn't come play with her. Drugs actually fucking wrap and wrap circles around her ass. Now bills play with her. Um, bill collector, yeah, bill collector played with her, and clips played with her. So those was easy battles for her. Them, those was just battles for numbers to get seen. But um, drugs really wrapped her, and he showed that his levels and not to play with him. Would you battle a person like Charlie Clips? I would battle Charlie Clips. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. Man, they, they love this man. Why wouldn't I do it? Man, right, right. That's instant. Me and Charlie Clips battle. That's an instant two million views. I don't care what the people say. Y'all hit me up. I'm, I'm I, Clips on my hit list. Wow. wow, wow. <laughs> that's instant. Lady J, man, anytime you pop out, man, you always give me a great interview, man. I appreciate you, sister, for real, man. No problem. No problem. Peace I, and love, I, all right? I, I love what y'all do. Hopefully, once I get my show going, we can collab and stuff. Yes, of course. Whenever you want to collab, we can talk about it, whatever, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Um, you know who else on the final exams? We could have did a little prediction. Well, let me ask you, do you, you have a phone? Who's on the card? Let me look and see if it. I don't know. You know, Hazzy versus Rebel is the other one off. So it's just only our... And then Hazy versus Rebel. Now, is this only females only? Am I right on this? Is the females card only? 
No, 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 no. I think this is the same card. Man, pull it up. I, I, let me you have it on your page or no? Well, let, me, let me see something. Hold on. At, on the URL page. You got to pull it up right there. You know what? I got the app. Let me see. Yeah, yeah pull it up if you can. Because it's, it's a three-day weekend. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, are you going to be there for three days? I'm, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if uh, I should be. It's a lot of battle rap for one weekend. Jesus, love. I will have my merch with me. So if it's doing well. <laughs> As you should. Yeah, if if it's doing well, I'm thinking, hey, let, let me stay and sell a couple more of these. Mm -hmm. Okay, here you go, the trailer. All right. Who you think gonna be on Band Legacy? Oh, that's a good see. How do you feel about cars like cars like that, Lady J? We don't know. We gotta sit and wait and ponder who's battling. Is that how do you feel about that? I don't know this guy. Okay, Ryder on this card. Ryder's on the card. Ryder's on the card. Um, you need to fly. Anyways, uh, I think it's gonna be a good card. <laughs> I'm on it. It's gonna be a good card. I think it's gonna be a good weekend. Like I say, I I'm probably just gonna feel it out sometimes. Like. I, I love the fans, but um, yeah. as far as my peers go, sometimes if you stay on the scene too long, mm -hmm. I don't even want to accidentally fuck my body. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going home. When you stick around long enough, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going it, home. <laughs> let me ask you a question. Is it hard to stay away from battle rappers to not mingle in that capacity? Um, it is hard. It's hard to stay away from them. Um, because I mean, it's just like your work boo. You see your work boo all the time. So, right, right, right. Do you have a crush? And it, it's it makes it convenient, right? You know what I'm saying so. It's like you travel all the time. I travel all the time. We both keep seeing each other. So you know, <laughs> it is kind of hard. But you know. <sighs> Why you was go straight back to your hotel? Everybody look for me, baby. I'm, I'm pretty sure they be looking for you. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I might have gave my number and not even responded no more. Well, man, without saying names, how many how many of these niggas be thirsty after you? Without saying names, I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that to you. <laughs> I'm, gonna do that to you. I'm not doing. Listen, I'm not asking for names. I'm I mean, you saying a number? Um, a number. It's. I'm gonna say uh, it's a high percentage. I'll just say that. It, it's 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 a very high percentage. Has more than fifteen battle rappers try to holler at you? More than how many? Fifteen. Yeah. Jesus, do you have do you have a do you have a but secret question? This this is a culture of thirsty. Of yeah yeah I'm yeah. I'm yeah. thirsty, but I mean. No, they thirsty. They thirsty. They thirsty. They thirsty. They thirsty. No, they thirsty. They thirsty. No, they thirsty. Okay. <laughs> They on the road, so you know everybody at the end of the night. Like when I was a bartender, at the end of the night, everybody trying to see who they gonna go home with mm -hmm. for the weekend. They trying to see what's the weekend jump out. Let's be real. Right, right. Do you have a crush? Mm, no, not at all. Oh, no, no, let me not lie. Let me not lie. I forgot I do got a crush. Mm. <laughs> crush. Mm. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Who does Lady J? Have a crush on the battle rap. Who? Let's hear this. Oh Lord. Oh, you gonna make them shine me. <laughs> Where's he from? Where's he from? Where's he from? I'm gonna just say his initials is A B. A B. Addison Burroughs? Oh <laughs> <That's not funny. laughs> Yo, Lady J, come I on. The biggest crush on Anderson Burris. Yes, no, come on, Lady J. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, I don't blame you. Can't I, I know you can't say it because it'll get blown up out of the you know. Where's the, all right, where's the individual from? No, that's the answer. It's not Anderson Burris. Come on, man. Respectfully, Anderson Burris. It's Anderson Burris. Why is that? 
He's so well spoken. Um, you know, he came out here and did the filming for the Houston stuff. He's just so well spoken. His intellect just do something for me. Then he tall. How tall are you? <laughs> I'm five ten. Okay. Okay. Yep. That's now, when you ready to start bullshitting me, you can let me know, you know. <laughs> 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 you not see me blushing? Yeah, I see you blushing out there. I see you blushing though. I see you blushing though. Wow. wow, wow. City sweat. It's making me perspirate. So when you when you when these guys meet your DMs, you, you are you are you a, are you nice when you gotta let them down and be like, listen, that's well, not that's one thing I can't say. I think um some of my fans have pointed out to me that I'm a little more down earth than a lot of the other female battlers because I just kind of feel like, you know, if a person support me eventually, I mean, yeah, of course I'm going to say thanks. Um, thanks for the support. I appreciate you. I'm yeah, a Y'all Southern girls, y'all Southern girls are like that though. Y'all are more, I'm from New York, man, respectfully. And I say this all the time. Yeah. I live, I live in the South now, but I Southern woman, y'all, 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 you know, yeah, I, yeah, we got the hospitality. Um, Jay Z, Beyonce, you see New York, you see, you see I'm going with it. We like, you know, Southern yeah. woman, Southern woman, y'all a good woman. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, it, it's one or two. I might have replied to with an extra. Hey, yeah. Well, you know, hit me up sometime. And then, like I said, I'm, I'm bad with communication, so. I'm kind of from the era where I don't I don't chase men, and if a man even look a little bit like I'm gonna have to chase him, no, nah. nah, my baby. I don't think you gotta mm -hmm. chase anybody, Lady J. Come on, man. No, you you know sometimes people once they get you or once they okay, I got the digits now. Now I got to where I wanna, and you don't, and you don't P play with one of these other birds like that. I'm not a bitch that's well, dying tied down right now. As an older man, I'm smart enough to know that if whatever man you decide to be with, well, he's a lucky dude. Now, here's the thing you got to be careful with. You're going to have two versions of a man where he might be insecure. He might he might be like, damn, she really want to holler at me? And he might not, he might nut up and not a fucking act after that. Like, damn. That, that, that's, the, that's the thing. I'm I, honestly, um, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm a delete or erase. I'm not trying to do that, but I mean, I'm not meeting them as my online personality. That's a different. That's a different aspect. That's not no. who I am. Honestly, I'm not the one who feel like I have to post people, um, or we have to follow each other because we in a relationship. Or in a minute, time out, sweetheart. You mean to tell me if you're, you you you're not gonna follow your, your, your the dude that you deal with? You're not, you're not gonna follow him. You you know what that bring? That 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 don't do nothing but get your man more hoes. If I'm being honest, I've been in a situation where as soon as I post the nigga, all of a sudden, all these bitches is, they going to like the pictures, going to the inbox, and it's happened vice versa. Right, I, right. I, I can imagine, right, 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 right. Now his homeboy's watching all my shit, and now he got an attitude. You sent them this way. As soon as you posted me, now while everybody you know, all these men, all of a sudden, they in my inbox. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it can be a good thing. It can be a bad thing. But that's the only thing. Once you enter into that realm where you feel like you have to display yourself on social media, right. they're going to always attach you to that person. And they also going to want to always speculate if it's doing good, if it's doing bad. And when y'all break up, you're going to feel the worst. So, it's going to be hard for you to get rid of that person because everybody remember and all going to bring it up to you. So, I think it's relationships last longer if they're not online. If so they're not online. If they're not online. So if you get a boo thing tomorrow. It, it's, you... it's not a show. I mean, if, if I get booed up, what's it of Stacy business? Or if, if I'm fit to get engaged, unless you're in my personal interim, mm -hmm. I don't care to display that to y'all because some of these people do that and they be faking it. The, it be the main people who so in love. Oh, I want to be like them. People on the outside looking in. Some real shit. When they don't live up to those standards, they mad that the world is dragging them. Mm. Oh, they was just they was just getting matching tattoos. They was this. They was... Wow. Good. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So yeah, um, it, it's 
it's you hold you're held at a different pedestal. The relationship is now everybody's. You put them in your business, they're gonna want to keep knowing about your business. Cause that's just like if I pop, get in the beginning of the relationship, you know the the beginning is everybody loves everybody you. honeymoon stage, right? The, right, the, right. It, feels so good because it's so new so y'all posting all this stuff doing all this stuff and then the moment you slack up and not posting that person now people are speculating oh they they must not be together no more she ain't posted him in forever they must not be doing good no nah, that's not that's, what and that happens a lot let's be real that happens a lot it does. I mean? so and what i'm saying i'm speaking from personal experience that's why that's not nothing that i'm looking forward to do you want somebody in the limelight or you would or a regular dude I mean, if they do, I mean that's their business. I wouldn't be insecure about it because I, I'm, I know what that's like. But uh, whether a niggas in a limelight or in the dark, what's for you is for you. It, it, whether he rich or whether he broke, a man will show you who he is either way. Limelight right. lim or not, broke niggas get the most pussy. So let's be real. <laughs> Can Come you get that though? So you. Know, you know niggas on death row right now, bitch is still holding them down. Is it, you really feel that way? Broke niggas get a lot of boom boom. You feel that way? They got nothing but time. Wow, that's crazy. She had nothing but time. It's wild. Inbox bandits. Inbox oh. bandits. Eventually, somebody gonna reply. Like they be saying, men shoot darts. They just trying to see who gonna take the bait. And eventually, somebody gonna take the bait. Mm. Wow. Okay. Lady J, man, it's been very, um, this is a very nice conversation. <laughs> we got to do this more often. I like our conversation. It's a more, not just battle rap, relationship, music, just life, life itself, man. Listen, I got to be honest, respectfully when I say this, I'm kind of shocked you single, though. Oh, I saw. I haven't always been, but I mean, well, wow. let's, let's be honest. You're single by choice. You're single by choice. Let's be honest. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm single by choice. Like I said, once I broke my engagement off and I needed to, like I said, went through celibacy. I started seeing what the dating game was mm -hmm. like. A lot of this out here, honestly, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not even trying to date nobody in my state. It's so crazy because everybody know everybody or everybody know everybody. Let me branch out. Let me branch out because... You're going to do long, a long-distance relationship? Is it that kind of... Hard? I will. I will, Anderson. You went for real? <laughs> I will entertain a long distance relationship if I it, to, do that, a, to to see to see how it would be because like I said why, where I'm at now I don't have time for a man I don't have time to put in the lovey doveys and the attention that a man really needs right, 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 and right, I'm right. I'm very submissive when I'm in a situation and I want to I want to make a person feel genuinely loved I'm not going to give you a piece of me if I can't give it to you so that's why I'm not seeking anything serious. So I am single by choice. Mm, wow. Yeah, interesting though. Interesting. Like you said, you have no time. You, you don't force a relationship. Was that did you and your fiance ever try to reconcile? Your ex fiance? Uh, I think that at the time I was too young to reconcile. And then it's kind of like one of them things like once you out of it, just don't. I'm I'm not a spin the block kind of girl. Now I I can say, after looking at my growth, I know the things that I did wrong in mm. in the situation, and then um, and I could realize how I could have frustrated him. I could also yes. take accountability for you know having a little low sex drive or whatever. Because you know, men a lot of times don't understand once you have a baby and da, da 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 da. And you know, and it's easy for me to just kind of like bowl up if a man is just not, I, I don't know, I could be mad for a long time. Let me just say that. I could be mad for a long time. I could kind of take it out on you. But you're I'm, petty? Are you petty? I can be. I can be. At least you're at least you're better though. You're yeah, petty. but I, I've grown out a lot of those behaviors. So you know, like I said, that's why I'm taking my time. And then once I'm back in it, I, I know my mistakes. I know where I could have pulled my weight more. I'm not one of them women to say, well, he did everything wrong because no, it wasn't I'm a serious. situation like that. For me, once he got his master's, started making over six figures, I just, he, he was very egotistical and, and I was petty. So it just didn't mix. It just didn't mix, but I can't say that was the one situation that I was in where I never had to question if he was cheating. So, and if he ever. 
you know, sometimes as men, we get money, a little fame, you get a nice car and all this other shit. And you kind of lose focus and don't keep keep the thing, keep the main thing the main thing, right? Right. And what I say is the fact, like, okay, you when you ain't have shit, this girl was holding you down mentally, probably money-wise, all kind of shit, right? And sometimes as men, we, we mess up in that department. I was married for 11 years. And I, I could, like you said, accountability, I could take accountability to shit that I could have done better as a man. You feel me? So I mean, that's what that's, I think. That's what this adulthood shit about. Right? Absolutely. Like, absolutely. Yourself, what you did mm-hmm. wrong. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now you know where you can fix it at. Some people don't fix themselves, and they go into the next situation doing the same that's thing, right. and it, and expecting different results. You do the same thing, you will get the same results. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Lady J, we gotta do this again, man. We do, we do. <laughs> Damn, there a table talk. You're <laughs> in. Listen, I know what people say when people hear this, they're gonna be like, okay, they were from battle rap to relationships to marriage to children and all kind of crazy shit. Yeah, but, I'm, a, I'm a triple threat. Like yeah. people already know I, I am the person that people call up into. And like I said, that's why in the medical field, my patients they love me. They always come back to see me, even when they're not with their doctor no more. Like I'm I'm just a good ball of energy, good to have around. I pray for people, like I'm in a good place. And even when I'm in a bad place, I'm still the person that everybody calls. And let me just say this. You are, and anytime I reach out to you, you always holler at me, man. You're one of the most down to earth females that I know in this culture. And, and you know, respectfully, when I say this, you know, some women, respectfully, who are beautiful like yourself, they kind of lose their mind a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. It, I think some people, once they discover um, how, where they can go with the assets part of it, um, so it go to some people's head. It it ain't go to my head. My thing is, shit. I've been had all this going on. Y'all just saying it because I changed up my wardrobe. Nothing else changed about me. I changed up my wardrobe, so now y'all see me. But that's what I'm saying. I I am proof that a lot of times people don't come to see the battles. I've been rapping my ass off, and that is not what made them come. It's so many good undiscovered people that's not what make them come you gotta put yourself in front of them and then get give them the bars right 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 and that's what we are with it i appreciate you sister thank you thank you for having me yes you gotta do anytime you want to listen anytime some crazy topic is coming on i'm gonna knock on your door and pull up and we have a discussion about get your view on that though man lady j all right Yep, yep, yep. Thanks for having me. Um, shout out everybody who is following the movement, following Titty Game. Um, Titty Game. <laughs> is that everybody a that Titty Game. <laughs> Thank you for following the movement. Um, I love y'all. I just want to say, tune in to this battle. If you don't mm-hmm. have an app, this might be a good time to get the app because I can't guarantee you it's going to YouTube, but I can guarantee you don't want to miss this. Lady J versus J Love. We're going to come put on the show. And this, this is about to be the most talked female battle. <laughs> Peace of love, man. Oh, yeah, before, before you go, are you, a, are you a grand rising girl? No. Thank you. I thank you. Yo, <laughs> let me tell you something. I hate that grand rising shit. That, that, that shit is annoying. I just don't like the grand rising. I don't know what it's about. It just I'm more of a did you eat today? I don't know. That's just that's just me. <laughs> Southern girl in you, you know what I'm saying? Lady J, peace and love though, sister again, man. I appreciate you, mama. Love y'all. You're already, you're already baby girl. <laughs>